peeps, this is Sharday of Sharday No Days Off, and I am coming to you with a quick unboxing video and first impressions. So I'm actually trying to beat the sunset, as you can see it's a little dark in here, but I just got off of work and I came home to a box that I was desperately hoping would get here um, at this time, because tomorrow I am going to New York. But I bought a new camera to use for my vlogs and I'm so excited. So here it is. The Canon PowerShot G7X. Now this is the older model. Um, the newest one out is the Mark II. So I bought this one after doing a little bit of research and hoping to find a better vlogging camera to fit my needs. Right now, I use, I have been using the Samsung NX Mini, and it's a great camera. I'll definitely do a full review on the cameras that I use for vlogging and for making my uh, videos and tutorials at home. But I'm so excited about this one because hopefully it'll give me a little bit better of a vlogging experience. Like, I can't even contain my excitement right now about opening up the box. Um, but for those of you who don't know, the Canon G7X is a 20.2 megapixel camera. And it's um, one of those that is in between the point and shoot and the DSLR. It has a few more features, which as a photographer, I definitely need those features. I'm not um, a total novice when it comes to cameras. I've been working with photography since I was about 15, and my first camera was a Canon Rebel uh, EOS that held film and right now for my photography I use a Canon D50 which is an older camera but it suits my needs since I don't get out that much um, but super duper excited I this camera retails for I think it retails for about $550 and I purchased mine on eBay actually um, as an open box very gently used it was only used for like a week for 530 but it came with a lot of extra things and whatnot so I am super excited to get into it um, what my what the box usually comes with is um, you know charger and this is this looks like an aftermarket charger so charger and um, cords etc but here we go here's the camera what I have been waiting for and battery um, I picked this one this camera number one because I needed something um, a little bit more compact my the Samsung NX mini is super duper compact don't get me wrong but like the Sony a5100 and cameras like that it has interchangeable lenses and I usually travel with the 9 to 28 millimeter um, lens on it so it sticks out of it definitely can't put it in my pocket or anything but it did serve its purpose but now I'm looking for something with a little bit more juice so here we are I love it it's it's pretty um, and so what I'm really appreciating about this is the fact that it has a zoom lens let's see um, what else so there's there's the lens and a focus dial right there um, and it has you know power button zoom right here aperture change right here on the back you'll see that it has your some dials and buttons that rotate and things of that sort um, let's see all right let's put the battery in and see how she works there it is. Okay. So let's see. Oop, it's on. Alright. So it looks good so far. The autofocus and the aperture are already better. Oh man. I like it. But also as you can see, the screen flips up. Look at that. So let's see. Let's put in one of these. All right, um, another thing about this this camera that I appreciate is that it is wireless, and I had that feature on the Samsung NX Mini, and I never used it, but I am definitely going to put that to use now because it's cool to be able to take the pictures you want to take and then 
send them to your phone to post and whatnot. All right, let's see. Take two. There we go. So, let's do that. And I'm going to do test shots so that I can um, post them or put it a side by side so you can see what I can see. And there we go. Okay, so I'm liking it so far. Um, it's a little, it's got some oranges and yellows, but that might also be because my wall is yellow. Um, well, it's like a goldish. Okay, there we go. That's really nice. I, I'm feeling it. This is gonna be good, I think. And um, so yeah, the picture is really, really good. And the sound, I will definitely do a side by side of the sound for this versus the Nikon that I, I'm filming on right now. Um, but yeah, check it out. So far, I'm digging it. I think this is going to be a good marriage for me, guys. So I'm, I'm looking forward to really taking it out for a spin. I can tell you now that like the Samsung and Xfinity and a lot of cameras that have a um, flip up screen, it's not a sort of fully engaged screen where you can turn it around is the fact that, you know, the screen is exposed. I also think this might be a touch screen, but I have not tried that out yet. Um, so yes. Ah, it is touch screen. Fancy! I love it. This is super duper cool. But yeah, so I will definitely do a full review of this product, most likely after I get back from, um, from New York and I get settled real good. But so far, I think this might have been a good purchase. Uh, but yeah, so stay tuned to see the final verdict on this camera as well as a video on the tech that I use uh, myself because like I said I'm a budget kind of girl and you and what I do know is you don't necessarily have to spend a whole bunch of money on um, technology to get a good solid product because my camera that I'm using now it is definitely not very expensive I didn't buy it for very expensive and so this is definitely accessible if you are in a cheaper range but still want a good solid product but I did decide to make a little bit more of an investment since I I I'm feeling it and I think I like it at any rate thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend about this channel and I'll see you in the next one